back with my second video pretty much in this little series I'm doing as far as what I'm bringing to the hospital for labor and delivery. Um, if you haven't seen my first video in regards to my toiletry bag, then I will link that. And also, disclaimer, it's going to be very loud in this video because I'm filming during my son's lunchtime and there's somebody mowing the grass outside. So, whatever. And I'm very nasally because I'm still sick. But that's a whole other story. I um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm 39 weeks pregnant today as far as when I'm filming this. So, um, yeah, things are happening and I'm ready to film this video because I think I'm officially ready to have this baby. Camden! You have to be quiet, please! So this video I'm gonna be talking about what's in my makeup bag that I'm bringing to the hospital. Now, yes, I'm gonna be that girl that's gonna bring makeup to deliver a human. And um, I didn't last time because I was in labor for 42 hours and I didn't really care. I did bring makeup, but I didn't care about putting on makeup for the delivery or really thereafter for the next few days. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd be more prepared. I love feeling like I'm put together and makeup does that a little bit. So I have no shame in my delivery makeup game. So in the top I have um, an eyelash curler and I have a couple of lipsticks um, that are very natural and not only in color but just in like formula. And the first one is by Bite Beauty and it's in the color Pepper. This is like all food grade ingredients. So in case I'm, you know, I don't really want to kiss the newborn baby <laughs> with lipstick. But in case it does happen, I know that it's not going to be irritating to her. Um, and as well as my son, when he gets there, I'm going to be wanting to smooch him a lot. But um, this other lipstick I just got as well, and it's drugstore brand by Burt's Bees. And I really like this formulation. It's really moisturizing, thin, and this is in the color Suede Splash number 502. So again, just kind of brownish, mauve neutrals that... Um, don't really have to worry about. Um, like I said, an eyelash curler, there's a tweezer in there, and then there's just a regular like lip balm, because my fear is to always have like chap lips in a hospital. Ugh, gross. So again, as far as face makeup, I have a beauty blender here, because that's how I apply my foundation and, and primers and stuff. So I have my Becca, this is the backlight priming filter, because I just use this for everything. I can wear this solo, and it just gives your skin like a very, soft luminescent glow and kind of evens out your skin tone so i have an eye crayon basically this is like a bronzing stick that you kind of just smudge um this is the kind of this oh this is by nyx the infinite shadow stick i've had this forever so i don't even know if they have this anymore but this is one of my favorite things and it's in the color bronze here's a mascara this is the lancome grandiose um, this is a new mascara and I really like it. The wand is kind of crazy funky, um, but it makes your lashes. I feel like my lashes like stopped growing during this pregnancy and they're kind of thin. Um, so that helps. That lawnmower is so loud. Here is a bottom lash mascara by Clinique. I just like this because it doesn't, it's waterproof basically. Of course, I don't film for like three weeks and the day I decide to film, the whole freaking neighborhood is being landscaped. Sorry about that. All right, next I have an eyebrow pencil and this is by Anastasia and this is the Brow Wiz in soft brown. I just think it's easy. It's a really thin pencil. Um, brows will be on fleek. And the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter up in the um, color Ocibian. Obsidian, and it's just a black mechanical eyeliner that you can do on, you can tight line and you can do on your waterline, and it doesn't really budge. Just makes your lashes look fuller. I have a concealer. This is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. It's a medium shade. Uh, this is just a really great thing to have after having a baby because you're probably going to be tired and a little puffy, so concealer is a must. If I decide to wear eyeliner which I probably won't um, liquid liner this is the physician's formula eye booster and this is a serum it's kind of like a two-in-one 
um, in black, but this is one of my favorite liquid liners. Back to the face, here is a BB cream, or it's a CC cream. This is Peter Thomas Roth's. Um, this is the vitamin C of an, oh, just kidding, that's not what it's called. It has 30 times the vitamin C of an, of an orange. Um, this is just the Critical Care CC cream. It has SPF 30, um, yeah, it's just a really easy, good coverage kind of CC cream that is moisturizing, and this is in medium tan, medium to tan. But if I don't wanna wear that, if I don't need like an SPF, then I have my Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD stick. This is um, the color 123 in the old version, but it's now, I guess, called the Y365. Um, so this is a super easy thing to travel with. Don't have to worry about it smearing. Um, and then it just blends in flawlessly. Your skin looks amazing. So that's if I wanna wear foundation. To set that, I have my Giorgio Armani um, pressed powder in the color four. And this is a really nice, I think this is almost like a foundation powder, a luminous silk compact. Yeah, so it's kind of like the luminous silk foundation, but in a compact. Um, and I usually just set my under eye concealer with the NARS crystal translucent powder. Um, because it doesn't crease and it doesn't get all cakey. So those are really good. And then to add a little color back into my life, because I'll probably look like I've seen a ghost. <laughs> um, here's a Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It smells like a vacation and it's just really creamy. It's, it's not that dark of a bronzer, so it just adds a touch of brown to your skin. As for blush, I have the Becca. Um, color in Flower Child. This is the Mineral Blush. They make some of the most pigmented blushes, which I love. As well as if I need a little highlight, which I don't know if I will, but I like putting this on the inner corners of my eyes because it makes you look more awake. And this is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, which probably all of you have. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention um, a, an eyeliner that I usually put on the bottoms of my lashes. Um, now the lawnmower is right outside my door, so. Okay, we're gonna make this fast. So this is the MAC uh, eyeliner in Costa Riche. This is the eye coal. It's kind of like a reddish brown, but it's really pretty for brown eyes. I love that. And then as far as eyeshadow, which I probably won't wear, because um, I have that stick if I need any color on my lids, but this is the CoverGirl True Naked in the Goldens palette. And these are just really, really creamy very pigmented eyeshadows for a really great price. So he's gonna come back and totally make this video noisy, so I wanna wrap it up, and that is what I'm bringing as far as makeup. We'll see if I wear any of it, or all of it, or how we turn out um, as far as pictures go <laughs> after I have the baby. But yeah, I thought I'd just have this on hand and share with you what I'm bringing. So hope you guys are doing well and stay tuned for my next video which is just kind of some cool items I'm bringing for the delivery room and maybe some essential uh, clothing items too. So hope you're doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.